welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Legends 2. Yeah, I said I was gonna wait until later, but, um, Drill Arm happened. What does it cost to improve Drill Arm? Range, energy. Energy is a thousand. If memory serves, it really doesn't cost all that much to improve the drill arm, so I'll probably work on that at some point. I'm not even on the right island right now. Okay, today we're going in here, actually, I promise. And we're going in by finding the down elevator. We can also look down and, like, see the whole town down there. Hey, the door's closed there. Also, that elevator has no floor. Ruins! The second key is in here somewhere. Be careful, Mega Man. Don't rush things. Man, look at that arm. This is a really complex structure. Be careful you don't get lost. Okay, now that we're actually using a weapon that has, like, not infinite ammo, we can actually um, kind of look at how it works. The blue bar is essentially how much energy I have, but the green bar is kind of how much I have in my current clip. So I can drill and drill and it'll lower the green one, and then when the green one's in it, empty, you have to reload it from the blue bar. So it's kind of like total ammo versus current clip ammo. Now, I'm, I'm a fan of the drill arm. The drill arm is pretty alright. Just because it looks cool, really. I mean... This music, man. I love... Underwater areas, underwater levels. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, wrong one. Man, this thing really needs more ammo. Also, they're stupid and will run directly into your drill and flip themselves over. It's kind of hilarious. I don't want to waste my ammo for this There's thing, though. There's something that looks like a large cliff in the room ahead of you. I'm not picking up any reaver bots. Thanks for telling me about what's in the room ahead of me there, Roll. I'll worry about that when I get to that room. Right now I'm kind of concerned with this room. That's actually something you'll notice about this game is, um, Roll is... Roll is a lot more annoying in this game. Oh, there you are. Roll is a lot more annoying in this game in the ruins than she was in Legends 1. Like, after the tutorial in Legends 1, she kind of shut up if it wasn't important. Legends 2, she just kind of talks. Always. Alright, well, she said no Reaver bots, so... Ah, wall! Hey. Yeah, there is a floor down there, and there's a lot of these little compartments off to the side that have stuff in them.
There's also a door it down here. like there's a door above you, but it's too high for you to jump to. Look around and see if there's anything you could climb on. Roll. You don't need to, like, spell out puzzles for me. And there is, actually, this right here. However, we can't pick it up. It's too heavy. So we're just gonna have to keep on exploring, and we'll come across something eventually, I'm sure. Also, why the crap do I still have that? I am not in need of sniper-like range. Hey, that looks like a wall! I'm alright with that wall. It's like a normal wall, only it doesn't get in my way. And as usual, sneaking behind them works fantastically. Ooh. I'm just gonna run around and map out this little room here. And I realize now that there's already been a couple rooms that I didn't map out, and my OCD hates me for it. I don't know. I kind of don't want to step on that. Get the feeling bad things will happen if I do. Yup, snakes. Freaking snakes, that's what happens. Are you alright, Mega Man? Freaking snakes. Man, that thing's opening slow enough there. Is that gonna go all the way up there deathly slow? I'm not gonna wait that long, but holy... Okay, no, it actually stops right there. I'm gonna say, like, if you're gonna go up that high, at the very least... Do it with some haste. Got a couple more blocks. Really high. Sure is. Jump. Yep. If there was something around there you could stand on, maybe you could get over it. You mean like these blocks that I can't pick up? Roll, I'm going to humbly ask you to stop spelling out puzzles for me. Oh no, I missed a block. I missed it again! Come on, Mega Man. Yes. And there is a button in this room. Now, for being an underwater level, there's been a serious lack of water. That's about to change. It looks like the floor beneath you is filled with water. And one thing you'll notice about Roll, like, yelling at you and crap is she will give you these really long explanations that you don't even have time to leave the... like, hear her explanation before you would leave the room and cut her off. Hydrojets. Hydrojets are kind of necessary because everything underwater is really slow. Really cool. But so slow. Maybe something's changed now that this area is filled with water. Since things are lighter in water, you can pick up things you weren't able to before. I don't know. Technically, things don't get magically lighter underwater. 
I mean, they've got the pressure from the water kind of pushing them up at the same time, but they don't actively weigh less. It's just water's weird. I mean, what's weight, really? It's like mass times the acceleration of gravity. The thing's mass certainly isn't changing, so does it, the acceleration of gravity change when you're underwater? I suppose it can, because you're getting a lot more... Well, the acceleration is the same, you're just getting a lot more, um, resistance. You can pick this up, by the way. Of course, that equation doesn't really take that into account. That equation does, um... It kind of assumes a frictionless environment, which is most certainly not... Like, friction is kind of what we're doing here. Okay, that's the one I already got in. If I can aim myself right, I don't have to take a box to every one of these. Come on, make it, make it, make it! Underwater physics! Go so slow, but I'm so, like, worried about what's around the corner! I don't know how I continuously traverse that menu that well, because I honestly barely understand that menu. There's a dude behind you, and that's really irritating. Because that makes me feel like I shouldn't run around behind you like I really want to. Freaking shield! Now that I've got the drill arm, though, the drill arm is handy. Have I mentioned this? The drill arm is, like, kind of great and wonderful and fantastic, and I love it. Wow, really? That's just a dead end. There's actually a good few places that I can go back to and do things at now, so... I'm gonna say, as soon as we finish up this dungeon, I'm probably gonna do a lot of backtracking. And look at a lot of things that I could have seen up until now, but haven't. Also, I know I'm gonna miss a lot of things in the ruins, because, like, I'm not checking every wall. This is, like, a really big side-optional type area here. With a chest at the end. Mega Man, why you gotta keep stopping? Heck yeah, money. Well, that should just about do us. We've been everywhere that we can be. Past the broken thing. Those are the rooms that I didn't map out entirely, but I've been in all of them. We've done everything we can do back there, so all that's left is to hop up that big thing, what we couldn't hop up before. Yep, big guy respawned. Good to know. Where am I going? I'm going this way. I'm hoping there's not going to be, like, an enemy that jumps me, because I'm just kind of friggin'... Heck with how slow you move underwater.
Yep. That's how physics works, right there. I heard a dude. I know there's gonna be a dude. Maybe not. Okay, equipment, special weapon, lifter. Because we are gonna lift up some boxes. Because apparently gravity works differently underwater. I'm honestly curious about this. Like, you know what? That's your homework for the day, people. Figure out how weight and gravity and crap works underwater. Because it feels really silly that something's weight could actually change underwater. I mean, maybe it's still easier to pick them up, but I... It doesn't sit well with me that that is because the item weighs less. You know, this is actually a kind of an irritating little spot of things to deal with, because there are explody dudes right around the corner. Like, right there. So if I had actually just jumped over those two and said, ah, heck with that, I'm not gonna fight them. Explody dude. Wah, explody dude. Oh no, that's not an explody dude. That's one of those dudes what swells up real big. Okay, now I know we're running near the end of the Vidya. We're starting to run out of time. And I wanted to get to an elevator so I could say, hey, next time we're going down an elevator. But I honestly don't know when the next elevator is going to be. I get the feeling it's going to be close, but at the same time, I could go through this room and there's going to be a mini boss or something in there. So, I'm going to hold off until next time and say, until then, everyone, we will find out if there is an elevator or a mini boss behind this door. Until then, everyone.